I'm Heidi and I'm going to show you how I made my Aerith bracelets. These are based on the Dissidia version of Aerith's costume, which is one of the more recent and detailed designs. They're made entirely out of craft foam, which can be found pretty cheaply at most craft stores. For each bracelet, you'll need one sheet of craft foam that is five or six millimeters thick and another sheet of craft foam that is only two or three millimeters thick. For the thinner foam sheet, I'm using sticky back foam, which already has an adhesive on one side. If you don't have sticky foam, you can just use the regular kind and glue it on. Take the thicker foam and cut a strip that will form the base of the bracelet. Mine is two and a half inches wide. Draw a guideline about three quarters of an inch from one side. Then, using your scrap of thicker foam, cut a second strip about half an inch wide. Cut your bracelet to whatever length you need to fit around your wrist. Keep in mind that it needs to be large enough to slip over your hand. Mine was about 8 inches in circumference. I'm using hot glue to assemble this, but you can also use contact cement for a stronger hold. Apply a thin line to one edge, then press them together to create a cylinder. Next, glue the half inch strip just below the guideline you drew earlier. I like to offset the seams a little, but keep them all in one area. Continue gluing it down until you reach your starting point. Trim off any extra foam and glue it flush. Next, we need to measure the circumference of the outside of the bracelet. Now we need to do some calculations. We can use a circle skirt calculator to find the dimensions of our next pattern piece. I like to use the one at easycalculation.com because it doesn't restrict your input numbers. Make sure your skirt type is set to half, then input the circumference of your bracelet as the waist measurement and the desired length as the skirt length. Use a compass to draw this half circle onto your 5 or 6 millimeter foam according to your individual measurements. Then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Before moving on, trace the shape onto your thinner foam sheet and set it aside. Going back to the thicker foam half circle, Draw a guideline to help you bevel one side of the inner edge. Mine is about a half inch away from the edge. Then, carefully begin beveling this edge with an X-Acto knife. You can sand the cut edge to make it smoother and even it out. Next, we'll use a heat gun to give the bracelet some shape. Carefully heat both sides to make it more of a cone. After it's cooled, you can begin gluing it down to the bracelet base. Again, place the seam near the others, but not directly on top of them. Continue gluing in small sections to keep your seams as clean as possible. If you have any extra material, carefully mark and trim it off. Now we're going back to the thinner sheet of foam that you traced your half circle onto. You'll need to draw a quarter inch channel down the center of this half circle, leaving two rainbow shapes of equal width. Starting with a smaller piece, cut it out and apply it to the top of your foam bracelet. Do the same thing with the larger piece, discarding the thin strip between them. Now your bracelet should look something like this. You can clean up the edges and make them flush by sanding the foam. Patch any seams or small holes by applying a small amount of vinyl adhesive caulk to the area and smoothing it out. A little bit of water on your finger can help smooth down the edges of the caulking. Before you paint your foam piece, you need to seal it. I'm starting with two layers of Mod Podge applied with a foam brush. Next, I used about four thin layers of Plasti Dip to cover the bracelet in a flexible coating. I used a white primer and a bright silver for the base color. I used some black acrylic paint to weather the bracelets and add texture. I used a foam brush and horizontal strokes to imitate the look of brushed metal. Finally, seal your paint job with some clear coat and you're all finished. Don't forget to watch my video on how to make the rest of Aerith's costume, and my next video will cover how to make the staff. Check out the links in the description below for more tutorials, and subscribe for new cosplay videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching! See you guys later!